Hello Internet, today is going to be a video on how to post ads on Craigslist. I'm not only going to show you how to actually post the ad, I'm also going to give you little tips and tricks that will help sell your item faster. Now here we have the Craigslist main site for the San Francisco Bay Area. That's where we're going to be doing this video, but no matter where you live, as long as you have a Craigslist in your country or state, you will be able to follow the same instructions. As you can see here, Craigslist is all over the place, all over the world. You can go ahead and click on the area that closely relates to your area, or you can use the map view here and click on it and find the area. Before we get started with actually posting the item, I want to show you some best practices. Okay, best practices for Craigslist. Number one, make sure it works. I actually had a cell phone once. I was told it was unlocked. I thought my carrier unlocked it. They said it was unlocked. I went to sell the cell phone. The person who bought my cell phone could not transfer ownership with the phone. They were really upset. So make sure that your phone is unlocked or if you're selling your car, make sure you have the pink slip that you don't need another signature. Uh, make sure it's paid off in full. Things like this. Make sure your item is ready to transfer ownership. Otherwise, buyers will be pretty pissed off. Number two, clean it and take a photo. Before you even go on Craigslist and post your item, you should have the photo already taken. So when you post your ad, you already have the photo ready to upload. Number three, find all the things related to it. So if I'm selling an iPhone 6, uh, I'm going to look for the original box if I have it. Maybe I have the receipt to show how long I've owned it for. Maybe I have the charging cables. Maybe I have a case. You want all those things together so when you take the photo, you can get all those things in the photo, as well as you could charge a higher price now that you have a complete bundle or package. Number four, product information or other ads. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. Number five, leave your phone number. You're more likely to sell an item if people can send you text messages or call you. Uh, some people might think like you're gonna get bombarded with calls or text. You will not. Occasionally you'll get like a spam text, but it'll be very apparent that it's spam. You could just reply back with stop and that should stop anything. Uh, number last but not least is uh, be safe. Don't meet people at night. Look for things like Starbucks, gas stations, public places, and do it during the day. If you're concerned, bring a friend with you. Uh, never give somebody an item until you have cash in hand or you have their ID in your hand. Just in case something does happen, you have some sort of recourse. Uh, I've never had an issue with this, but it's always just better to, to play on the side of precaution. Now, the number four, I said Google product information or other ads. So as you can see here, I went on eBay and I just searched the iPhone 6S because in this demonstration, we're going to be selling an iPhone 6S. But if you scroll down here, they've already written a great description about the iPhone 6 and about the battery life and about the cameras. So find something you like if it is correct. Uh, you might have to edit it a little bit, but I can just go ahead and copy this. And I already have a lot of the text done for my ad now. It saved me so much time. So go ahead and Google that and you can get um, information. The other thing I wrote in in here was that uh, if you if you don't take a photo, you can use a stock photo. So just go ahead and, and Google search the iPhone success, go over to images and find an image that if you have the rose gold one, find the rose gold, uh, you know, just find the phone that mostly relates to yours. I don't like this as much as you taking an actual picture of your own phone, but it's better than no photo at all. So if you don't take a photo, just go online, Google it and download a, a stock photo. Now that we're in Craigslist, the first thing to do is search your item on Craigslist like you're pretending to buy the item because this is a great way to find a similar ads that maybe you can copy their ads as well as find out what category it is you want to post in. Once you're here, you can go to post your ad two ways. You can just click here up to post. I'm just going to go ahead and open it in a new window to show you where it takes you. Or if you're just on the home page, you go to post to classifieds. It takes you to the same place. You notice these websites look exactly the same, same place. So it doesn't matter which way you go, you're going to get to the same place. Now on this screen, what type of hosting is it? It's for sale by owner. Unless you own a business, then it'd be a dealer. Remember, we already found out that it's going to be cell phones where we want to post our item. And you're going to want to put a location. The reason you're going to want to put a location is when somebody goes to buy your phone, for example, they can go ahead and type in their zip code and see how far they want to drive to and if you don't put your location then you're not going to show up when somebody does that kind of search so at this point you should see a blank ad and I've already gone ahead and pre-filled this out you're probably thinking like oh my god this is so much work it's actually not very much work the first thing email you're going to want to type in your email if you don't want people emailing you you can click this button here and no one will reply to your email and that way they can just do phone or text if you do want to do email though don't be scared nobody can actually see this email address here when you actually post the ad it'll look something like this and when people go to reply Craigslist automatically camouflages your email address so although you're typing it in here it will actually not be shown when people go find your ad so don't worry about that so type in your email 
Remember, I told you you're more likely to sell your item quicker if you do by phone and text, so I like to click that and go ahead and type in your phone number. The contact name is optional whether you want to use it or not. With the title, I like to post a really long title and put and make it really positive, like why they'd want to click, like almost new, no blemishes, the best deal around, uh, trying to sell quickly, to get people to click on your ad. So you want the title to be enticing. You'll notice in the list view that the shorter titles don't pop as much as these really long ones in all caps. So mess around with doing caps, uh, uh, parentheses, exclamatory marks, dashes. You want your title to pop. Having a good picture and a good title is what's gonna pop your ad out against the competition, especially when you're selling the iPhone, which is going to have a lot of other people selling as well. Now, when it comes now the price, um, I like to do 99. I always put a dollar cheaper than I actually want to sell it for the people that do a dollar and then they ask something different. I think that's messed up. Don't do that. Uh, as far as your postal zip code, you can enter that in. Uh, that'll just tell them where it is. And again, you want to do that. Now, the first part of my ad, I like to just do a brief like what it is you're buying, what's the condition, what's the model number, really easy. And then I say, call, text, or email me, basically saying you can contact me any of those ways. And then I do the price. And then remember, we copied all this information from this other ad. I want the, all this ad in here because, for example, if somebody's looking for a TD LTE ba band, you know, when somebody searches this, you know, they're going to find my ad or this one other ad. So by having more text in your ad, you're adding to your search and on search engine optimization, which is how likely you are to do a keyword uh, search match. So the more text you have in your ad, the more likely you're going to come up in the search result. The only downside I see is like it makes your ad look kind of cluttered, but you could change that. The other thing I like to do is put misspellings in my ad. So I'll put the word Apple like that. I'll put the word Apple like that. And by putting the misspellings, if somebody accidentally goes to search for an Apple iPhone 6 and they go like this, um, as you can see, no searches were, were found. But the thing is, if my ad was posted right now with this word in it, when somebody searches Apple without the extra P, my phone would my phone would actually show up, and I would be the only one that they would click. Do not abuse this though. You might see some people with like hundreds of keywords that have nothing to do with iPhones. You will get your uh, ad flagged. Once you've written a great ad and you finished your posting body, as you can see, this has only taken us like less than five minutes so far. Uh, you do want to do in your posting details the model, the make. Now show on maps. So this is where. I don't like giving people my exact address, so I don't fill this part out. You can still show yourself on a map though, and what it will do is it'll just draw a big circle around the area that you put for your postal code. So this person gave an exact address, and as you can see, it shows you exactly where they are on Google Maps. With the iPhone, I would do this where you just give them your zip code, and it just draws like a, a five or 10 mile radius, I'm not sure, around the, the area that you had provided. When you are adding photos, you when you add like multiple photos, for example, you can move them around to see which photo you want to be on the on the front cover of your ad once you've done that you're now going to get to this is you're not done yet your ad is not make sure you click this button right here if you do not click this button uh, you will your ad is not live yet you like this video if I added value could you please give it a like and a subscribe I'd really appreciate it best of selling to you and until next time